So I go to see my chiropractor, who I'd been seeing for eight years. In the eight years I've seen him, he's never cracked my neck. Because I had my neck cracked years before that, and I never liked it. I never liked it. I, it, it gave, I used to get weird head rushes. I didn't like the feeling of it. So I said, you know, I told him when I first started seeing him not to crack my neck. And he never did in eight years. I'm laying on the table. I told him what my doctor told me about the lump in here. He's feeling around. He's working on me. I'm laying on my back. My eyes are closed. I hear a voice say, don't let him crack your neck. And I open my eyes. I look at him. I said, what did you say to me? He said, I didn't say anything. I close my eyes again. Again, a voice says, don't let him crack your neck. And I'm laying there thinking, why? Am I hearing this voice? He's never cracked my neck in eight years. Why would I, boom, he cracks my neck from left to right. I sat up and I said, why did you do that? He said, I felt you needed it. I said, you know, I don't like that. I've never liked that. I've told you that. He said, I just felt you needed it. Paid the bill. I get in the car and start driving away. I'm on Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica, and everybody knows that area. It's a pretty big vein that leads all the way downtown LA. I maybe got up to about 26th Street, maybe two miles away from the ocean. And I hear and feel two very distinct pops in the back of my neck, back of my head, lower than my head. My vision goes crazy. My balance goes crazy. I pull over the side of the road, and I'm sitting there for about 15 minutes trying to understand why I'm falling backwards and falling and falling and not stopping, even though I'm sitting in my chair. Out the car, seat in the car. I called up Sam, my fiance, and I say, um, this is what's going on. She goes, I'll come get you. Welcome to the male ego. I'm okay, I'll drive myself. Even though I'm sitting there and I've got, I felt like my head was inside an aquarium that I was looking through the water and the glass. Everything was just very strange and distorted, distorted. And I knew something horrible had just happened. I knew something horrible just happened. But I was in total denial, which will be a continuing factor through the next couple days. And I, 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 so I drive home. I get back there. And I'm sitting there. I, I somehow made it holding on the side of the wall. I make it to her apartment. By then I'd sold my place in LA because I was living in New Zealand. And uh, I tell her what's going on. I said, I can't. I was supposed to do a talk show that afternoon. Uh, Magic Johnson's talk show at the time. If you remember, he had a talk show back then for a little while. And I said, I got to cancel this thing. They're going to pick me up in like two hours. So I called my, she said, yeah, well, you're not feeling good. I said, I called my manager and I said, I got to cancel. They freak out. They said, you can't cancel this. Like people. I said, you don't understand, guys. I don't, something's wrong. I'm not feeling good. They put the pressure on me, and believe it or not, I'm dumb enough to get in the car and go do the talk show. I don't know how I got through the talk show. I mean, if I've ever done acting decent in my life, that's probably the best job of acting I've ever done. And I remember walking back out, holding on to Sam, and saying, we're going to have to, I, I don't know what's going on, but I don't feel good. And like an idiot, I actually slept on it that night. I slept on it, which is just stupid. So I'm like, even, I, I'm... I'm thinking, how could this happen to me, whatever's going on? It can't possibly be going on. So I sleep on it. I get up the next morning, I'm feeling worse. I didn't sleep that well anyway. We go see my doctor. He says, I want you to go see your eye doctor. So I told him about my vision. So luckily, he's only like six blocks away. So I go see the eye doctor. They do a field of vision test on me. Sure enough, there's two very black spots that I've lost vision in that's gone. So he's thinking, OK, this isn't good. It's probably strokes. He doesn't say it to me. I get back to the house. I walk to my spice south there. I, don't, I mean, it was weird. This was very weird. Everything's very surreal. I'm just constantly just going in, in total denial about this as well. So I walk home. I get back to the house. Sam makes me a sandwich. I'm sitting there while I'm trying to eat the sandwich, just feeling worse and worse and worse. And I had two more pops. And I fell over sideways. And she looks at me, and she goes, you're right. And I say, I, 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 I don't. She went, what? And I go in shock. She just stares at me, and I realize I'm accepting it now. 
I can't speak. So I'm having strokes. Yeah. 